Hey guys, so today I have my June favorites for all of you. Holy crap, it's July. I don't know where my summer is going, honestly. I have a crap ton of favorites for this video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because we all know how much I love to talk. So my first favorite of this month is everything that I thrifted and cut in that video. Um, I'll link both of the videos below of me like cutting all the stuff I thrifted and then the like thrifted lookbook and I love everything that I made and everything like that and I've been wearing it so much obviously because like it's like having new clothes and so um, I'm so proud of these shorts and they were originally Levi's and I cut them into little cutoffs they're not high-waisted and then they have like the Levi thing on the back and then um, I didn't show this in the video but I actually like dipped them in bleach and I just like soaked them in bleach for like I want to say like a minute or something or like a minute and a half it kind of made like this faded um, design type thing like can you see how it gets lighter at the bottom like I did that and I'm so proud of them <laughs> I love everything that I thrifted and cut whatever um, I've been wearing all of that stuff a lot this month and I'm probably gonna be wearing it more in the rest of the summer months so yeah these were a favorite of July as well as all of my like muscle tees and all that other stuff that I cut. My next favorite is my mane and tail shampoo and I showed this in a haul um, and I told you guys that I would use it and tell you guys how it works and it's basically supposed to grow your hair and make it look like healthier and whatnot and I honestly have been loving this because I feel like my hair has grown a lot. Here I'm gonna sit up a little bit. Look it's like past my boobs again. Um, <laughs> But I got a haircut and I wanted my hair to like go back to the length that it was and um, now it's kind of like growing again and it just seems a lot healthier and it's for shiny and manageable hair and it definitely makes your hair shinier and I just feel like a horse like it's for mane and tail it's for this is horse shampoo and I use it on my head and it works and by the way I'll have all of these products linked below so you guys can go check them out because um, I have never done that in videos before and I'm sure you guys are like, oh, I want to go like see what she's talking about. So I'm going to link them um, in the down bar, all of these products that I'm talking about. My next favorite is actually a face wash and you guys might remember or know that I love the um, Clean and Clear Morning Burst. Uh, I, it's just like the it's a yellow one I don't know what it's called but it's the yellow one and I loved that one and it had like caffeine and bursting beads and then they just came out with this new one and it's the clean and clear morning burst facial hydrating cleanser and it's oil free and it wakes you up and boosts your skin's moisture with cucumber extracts extracts yeah and so it comes in this cute little blue bottle I love this like just as much they basically like make the same like cooling effect on your face but I don't know why I like this one a bit more I think it's because of the cucumber like I love the smell of this so much you know like those um the cucumber smells at Bath and Body Works and everything like that and they just smell clean and like you're at a spa that's what this smells like it really like wakes me up and it gives me a burst in the morning like it's supposed to my next favorite is my crest white strips and I also showed this in that same haul that um, I showed the shampoo in and I told you guys that I would sh I would share with you how well they worked and I am so happy with the results of this you do not even know so I got the level four ones because there's five levels you can get one through five and as you increase in levels they get more expensive I'm pretty sure these were like the $40 ones or the $45 ones I'm not positive I started these I said I was gonna start them on June 1st but I really started them on June 2nd and I missed one night but that was it and you do it for 20 days so I was done with them on the 23rd um, of June and then yeah and so basically what you do I'm like smiling so much because I just want to show off my white teeth look at them look at them <laughs> But um, so basically what you do is you put them on 30 minutes daily for 20 days And so I would do this right before I went to bed and the only like annoying thing about it was that I couldn't just go straight to sleep after I brush my teeth I would have to sit in my bed for 30 minutes and one night. Oh my god Do not fall asleep with these on I'm telling you these it even like warns you on it These will make your teeth very very sensitive And so you only want to keep them on for the amount of time that it tells you because one night this this was terrible I fell asleep with them on because I was so tired and I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning with them still on and I was like holy crap I still have these on and I ripped them off and I was just like oh oh my god and I went back to sleep and then I woke up 
and I was in the most excruciating pain ever. Well, not excruciating, but it was just really uncomfortable. And it like felt like my teeth were just really uncomfortably cold. And you know, just like that really like sensitive, like weird feeling that your teeth get. I mean, like you probably don't understand unless you use a whitening system or something, but these will make your teeth so, so sensitive. And so that's the only like negative effect of them, but they work so well. And so it's so worth it. I'm very, very happy with the results that this gave me smiling he um i'm like i don't know i just feel like my teeth are whiter and like my teeth have never been this white before and one of my friends actually even commented on it so that's when you know they work that other people start noticing she was like wow megan like your teeth look really white and i was like really really because nobody ever tells me that because my teeth were always so yellow and gross but um yeah so definitely if you have yellow teeth or you just want to whiten your teeth a little bit more get these these were like my savior these these are so good my next favorite of this month was not showering just kidding but really um i like for some reason this month was just lacking on showers i mean not like of course i would shower like but I would go more days than I normally would. Like normally I shower every day or at least every other day and I would be going like one full day or two full days without showering and my hair would just get really greasy. And so this was my savior. This is a Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Shampoo. And um, I mean, it's the refreshing dry shampoo. And this is like the best dry shampoo I've ever used. Um, it's the only one that I actually noticed like a real difference and not just like leaving white crap in your hair. Over the course of this month, I had to use it a bunch of times because apparently I was really unhygienic. And so this was like a favorite of the month and I used it today. That's why I look like a homeless man. It just basically absorbs the oil in your hair and it's like taking a shower, but not. And so I guess I just liked not taking showers and using this this month but this is really good. So if you're looking for a good dry shampoo, get this. And then next, of course, I have a nail polish favorite of the month. And this is Revlon's Buttercup. And it's this pale yellow color. And I'm actually, okay, I'm gonna show this to you guys, but the bottle is disgusting. I really don't know what happened to it. I think I left it in like some acetone and the label started rubbing off on it. And it just looks really like gross and weird. But there's the color for you guys. It's in 100 Buttercup. And it just looks like this. Like I said, it's a pale yellow. The bottle is really ghetto and gross. I'm sorry. But you can find this at any drugstore. And this is like the best drugstore nail polish ever. I love Revlon nail polishes because I'm going to show you guys. Look how thick the brush is. I love how thick it is. Um, and so it goes on really well. And then it also stays on really well. And I was complaining in my last favorites video about how much I hated Essie. I love Revlon. And so Revlon is really, really good for me for staying on well on my nails. It doesn't chip as much as Essie does. Essie being a higher end nail polish. Thanks a lot, Essie. It's a Revlon Colorstay line of nail polish and they stay on super well on my nails. It's not on my nails right now, but um, it was previously on my nails before I painted them this color. And so yeah, Buttercup was definitely a favorite. It's a pretty, pretty yellow color and I think it's perfect for the summertime. My next favorite of the month is White Eyeliner. And so this one is just a NYX retractable eyeliner. Looks like this. Nothing to see here besides the fact that it's white. And a lot of you were commenting on videos and tutorials, whatever, whenever I would use um, black liner on my waterline and you guys would be like, Hey Megan, maybe you shouldn't use black eyeliner on your waterline because it makes your eyes look even smaller than they already are. And I would just be like, you know what, whatever, I love my black liner. And then finally, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna try white liner on my waterline and it looks fine and I love it. And so I have it on today. Do my eyes look bigger? Hmm, hmm. This whole entire month, I've just been trying to use, um, this one, of course, I use like black from time to time on my waterline, but I think this really opens up your eyes a lot better. And I can also put it on the inner corners. Sometimes I use it as a highlight under my brow. Um, and I just like blend it out with my finger since it is an eyeliner, obviously. And I'm not just going to have like a distinct line under my eyebrow. Um, but yeah, and so you can get this at Ulta or anywhere like Sephora, anything like that. So I've just been wearing this on my waterline and opening up my eyes more. And so I hope it, you guys can notice some kind of a difference. I don't know. <laughs> 
And then my favorite event of the month was the Kesha and Pitbull concert. And I went with my friends Kaylee and Abby, and then we also went with Lindsay and her two friends Jenna and Layla, and it was like the best group ever. It was just like such a fun group of people to go with, like just the six of us, and we just had an amazing time together. And we actually met like six subscribers, I want to say, and um, if you came up to us and said hi, that was like the nicest thing ever, and I loved taking pictures with you guys, and it was so much fun meeting you guys at like a concert, that was cool. Um, but yeah, we had the best time ever and don't laugh at me for going to a Pitbull concert because, okay, honestly, I hate Pitbull, or I did. I hated him a lot and we were actually planning on leaving when Pitbull came on because we found out the day of the concert that it was actually a Pitbull concert and Kesha was just opening for him instead of it being a Kesha concert and Pitbull opening for her. So we were like there for Kesha, but Kesha was really, really good. I love her, she's a goddess, she's my queen, whatever you wanna call her. Yeah, like I said, we were planning on leaving when Pitbull came on, but he ended up like being a really good performer, surprisingly, like even though I really don't like him. We were all just like dancing around and having fun and it was so much fun and we made a lot of new friends and everybody was so happy and friendly. I met this one girl who was a ballroom dancer or a ballroom dance teacher and um, she was like teaching me how to like tango. That was my phone. And she was teaching me how to like tango and everything like that and she was really nice. <laughs> and um, Yeah, and so like I said, we made a bunch of like new friends and met a bunch of people and it was just like a really fun concert. Like I just love summer concerts, you know, and it was outdoors so that was super fun too and it was just like the best time ever. And then I also have two music favorites of the month and that is, well the first one was uh, Mac Miller's new album, Watching Movies with the Sound Off. I know a lot of people have, at least at my school, have fallen out of the whole Mac Miller phase, but I still love him to death. He has always been like one of my favorite rappers, and I kind of like fell out of him a little bit, and I was just like, okay, you haven't been making music for a while, and like your music, like honestly, it really wasn't as good as it used to be, like from when he used to like make kids in Blue Slide Park and after that like a lot of people stopped listening to him but I, I still listen to him like for Macadelic. I loved that album so much. It was so cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've always just kind of had like a thing for Mac Miller. Like I loved him a lot and so when his new album dropped, I know he spent a lot, a lot of time and like thought on the album and he spent a lot of time making it and so obviously I was gonna like take the time to listen to it and so I listened to it a little bit and I was like hmm like should I buy it should I illegally download it don't really know and then I decided to just buy the deluxe album on iTunes and it was like the best decision ever and it is the most amazing raddest album ever like it is so cool I love his new album so much um, probably my favorite songs off of it are Goosebumps I am who am in parentheses kill in time. That's like my favorite one ever. If you want to like rekindle your love of Mac Miller, just go listen to that song I am who am because it's like just listen to his lyrics because he can rap so fast and I don't know why people are like, oh my god, Mac is such a ter terrible rapper. He is not a terrible rapper, okay? He has amazing flow. Just. I'm not even gonna go on some kind of like music artist rant right now because I'm just gonna get out of hand, but really just go listen to the album. I'll link my favorite ones below. I love Goosebumps, I love I Am Who Am, I love Remember and Euphoria, and just, I really just love the whole album, honestly. Oh, and The Star Room. Okay, really, just the whole entire album is amazing and I really love it and I love how much like thought and effort he put into it and I think like it really like went in his favor with this one. Um, I think he honestly made a comeback and if you thought that Mac Miller had fallen off, uh, yeah, you thought wrong. And then my next music favorite and last favorite of this video was Chance the Rapper's Acid Rap and um, okay, so I forgot to mention this actually in my May favorites and I have been listening to this album since I, honestly, okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys right now. I'm not even sure if it's a mixtape or an album. I'm I'm really not sure. You can download it for free, and so I'll put the download link below. Um, I downloaded it for free. It's not like I'm pretty. 
I don't know if it's on iTunes. It's probably on iTunes. But, um, so Chance the Rapper is, like, my new love, like, my new rapper love. I mean, I love a lot of rappers, and I do love rap music, but, like, I've never heard anybody like him, and he's so different that I just, like, immediately fell in love with him, and Lindsay likes him a lot, too, so that's when you know. Um, but, <laughs> so, basically... This album came out like mid-April, I want to say, and I got it like right in April and I listened to it from the time that I got it until now. Like I'm still listening to it. It's just so amazing. Like none of the songs get old. I love literally almost every song on the album. Um, it's like the best thing ever. I want to say my favorite songs off of that are of course Acid Rain, Smoke Again, and favorite song. And then, yeah, so I'll, I'll just link the whole um, mixtape slash album, don't know which one it is, down below, but definitely go check that out. And I meant to mention him in my May favorites, and I completely forgot, and I've been like using him in like intro songs and stuff like that, but basically I love Chance the Rapper, I love Mac Miller, and it them together was just like the best thing ever. I saw them in concert and I'm now filming this in July so I'm not gonna mention that I love the concert until next video. <laughs> but really. Um, I went to their concert and it was amazing and I'm not gonna talk about that until my July favorites because guess what? That happened in July, not June, and so I can't really talk about it because it didn't even happen in this month but either way it was really really fun and awesome. <laughs> But basically, that sums up my whole entire favorites of June. Um, I had a bunch from beauty to music favorites, you know? As always, I like to include my music favorites. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!